welcome to microbiology class in this video i am going to tell you about uh, potassium hydroxide mount potassium hydroxide mount koh mount it is a staining we cannot say it is a staining it is a preparation used to identify fungal infections or fungus identification of fungal infections <coughs> Uh, normally, uh, fungi produce uh, cutaneous and subcutaneous fungal infection. It will produce infection in your hair, nail, skin. These are the common sites of fungal infection. Even other sites are also there. Oral candidiasis, one common uh, fungal infection is there. Intestinal uh, fungal infections are there. Uh, systematic fungal infections are also there but common uh, form of fungal infections are uh, seen in your skin and appendages so if you wanted to identify that fungus present in the skin or nail or uh, hair we will collect that sample and uh, that sample will be observed under microscope so the fungus present in the specimen will be strongly attached to, to the skin nail and hair so to separate that fungus from the uh, specimen, we use this KOH mount. It is just like another wet mount preparation. Already explained the wet mount preparation. This uh, is a very easy procedure. You take a skin scrapping or a na uh, hair or nail. That one sample, you put it on a slide. You keep it on a slide. And uh, you put a drop of KOH, potassium hydroxide. Just uh, allow it to uh, work on it for some time and after that you keep a cover slip and observe under microscope. This is a uh, unstained preparation, there is no color. So the fungal filaments you can see uh, when you are observing under microscope because the fungal filaments present in the hair, nail or skin will come out when you are using this KOH mount. Okay, potassium hydroxide mount. It is a common uh, procedure used in uh, laboratories, uh, medical laboratories uh, for the diagnosis of a fungal infection, for identification of fungi. In some laboratories, in some laboratories, instead of this KOH mount, instead of this potassium hydroxide mount, uh, they are now using another staining procedure called lactophenol cotton blue mount, LPCB lactophenol cotton blue mount the purpose of a koh mount is also done by this so uh, if you are you instead of a koh mount if you are using lpcb the advantage is the same lysis of the tissues also will be done plus it will give a color also cotton blue is blue in color so you can easily identify microorganisms especially this fungal filaments when you are using this lactophenol cotton blue mount. Same procedure, you take a specimen, put it on a slide, then uh, put a drop of uh, lactophenol cotton blue uh, on, on, on the specimen and uh, you can just uh, press it for some time, then uh, keep a cover slip, keep a cover slip and observe under microscope. Okay, lactophenol cotton blue mount. Uh, many laboratories now you, they are using this lactophenol cotton blue mount. Uh, instead of KOH, potassium hydroxide, but potassium hydroxide is a common and cheap method of identifying fungal filaments in the specimen, KOH mount. You can see the procedure uh, in the following video, see that and understand what is KOH mount. And in our laboratory, in our microbiology laboratory, instead of KOH mount, we are doing LPCB mount, lactophenol cotton blue mount. Some people will, in short, they will make LCB mount also, lactophenol cotton blue mount. Okay, so that's about the KOH mount. Thank you. In this training video, you will learn the proper technique for performing a potassium hydroxide or KOH preparation. This test is used to detect the presence of yeast in a specimen. In this video, we will be examining a vaginal specimen for the presence of yeast. For this procedure, you will need the following materials and equipment. Personal protective equipment, a sharps container, 
a biological waste container and bag, sterile microscope slides, a sterile plastic pipette, glass cover slips, a pencil or slide marker, and 10% potassium hydroxide, KOH. To begin the procedure, transfer one drop or 10 microliters of the specimen to a sterile labeled microscope slide. Without touching the specimen with the dropper tip, add one drop or 10 microliters of 10% KOH directly to the drop of the specimen on the slide. Carefully, place a cover slip over the specimen KOH solution on the microscope slide. Using a bright field microscope, focus on the slide using the 10x objective. Scan at least 10 fields. Use the 40x high power objective to identify morphologic characteristics. If yeast forms or pseudohyphae are seen, they can only be reported as yeast present since identification of genus and species is not possible in a KOH preparation. Follow your laboratory's policy for reporting the results.